Wood ain't dead like they think it is. Trees and stuff actually crack. They have feelings, they do just like an elephant. When the wind blows, something happens to the trees and everything, when they bobbing together and all like that right there, they communicate. Folks think I'm a neck, I know that, but I know what I'm talking about. Cause I used to go sit in the woods and listen to them. The tree be saying something. I cannot make a conventional get looking guitar unless somebody take and uh, talk me into doing it. I let the saw always do what it wants to do. Sometimes I close my eyes and it'll come out an instrument. It's hard to explain. But wood has, has characteristics as supernatural stuff. Once you start messing with it, you'll find out it can communicate with you, and uh, you don't know how it's communicating or why. But it has things, wood has things it want to be done to it instead of just mutilating it within a sawmill or electronic stuff. You had to treat wood a little taste of kindness, even if you are scraping some out throwing it away. Supreme and he said, you may not want that wood. I said, why come? He said, a man was uh, hung on that tree. That was the end of the conversation right there. When the man told me that, I didn't even think about it no more. It's a common thing around here for the walk by place. Somebody claims somebody been hung, hung and killed, you know. You become accustomed to that legend. Most of the time, a tree got straight grains, or either wavy grain, but this right here, these grains here, are form a or, or picture. Some of them forms a different thing that I've never seen it before. I pinched myself. I said, I'm still living. I said, but I see the shape of a human skull. I'm out of here. I goes out, it got to bother him, bad. The wood just kept right on talking. I got my wooden mallet back there and come beating on it. Poop! A piece fell out by like your hand. I said, dang, that was a knot. Poop, 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 not resting out and set it up there on top of the beat and it was a shoe. All I did was scrape the little rotten stuff out and everything and, and everything and it came out to be a shoe. Joe D is skidding. I don't want to be around that right there. about that John Brown tree man. He had proof. And the strange thing about it, almost what the wood was telling me was what he was finding out. Stuff where I wouldn't have never known cause white folks ain't gonna tell you about so much in their business they get black. The 
been a day to be a black man, you want nothing but a target. Same way now. I found out in the newspaper clipping that uh, got from Tim that uh, his wife and children and stuff had to look at him die. They tip it, mean something, tell me the truth. But see, it ain't sunk in yet. One day I just got to move all the stuff out of my head and let it sink in. Well, what I wonder for the future, I did get taught in. Is somebody to listen at them, look at them, become acquainted with them, and know that it's just, it's just not a conventional sound that you get when you lay some pickups on a board. These guitars here got a character and a sound of their own. And uh, it don't take a long time. You'll find out that everything, everything that grows natural has a character. If somebody else suggests some wood glue together, to me it's uh, something else.